are going on right now in Iowa. We've got a storm chaser, Kelly Williamson, joining us now, who's on his way, I believe, to the Lake City area to look at some of that damage. Kelly, can you hear me? Yes, I'm just fine. All right, we're looking at your picture, too, and, uh, you know, this area, uh, I understand there's been quite a bit of damage with this particular thunderstorm. What are, what are you hoping to do? You're not so much chasing storms, but really on your way to look at the damage? Yeah, I'm going to go see if I uh, can uh, document some of the damage. Uh, it hasn't put down anything. I've followed this storm all the way from Missouri. I've been on the same cell. It's been moving close to 50 mile an hour. And there hadn't been any warnings or anything on this storm, and it's just done this, set down and done this all at once. Yeah, we understand there were some uprooted trees, uh, some roof damage with this storm as well. And, and now the storm is moving pretty quickly off to the north of where you are right now, north of Carroll, as a matter of fact. And by the way, Kelly, you were busy yesterday tracking storms from Colorado into Kansas, and now here you are in Iowa. Yeah, we, we was in uh, southern Nebraska for a little while, and... Uh, it, we, we just, everything's moving so fast, you just can't stay with them. You know, they're, like I say, most of the storms today has been going close to 50 miles an hour, and you just can't stay with them. All right, when I talked to you last night, too, you are concerned about the hail, golf ball size hail, and you were going to survey the damage if there was any to your vehicle. Yeah, I've got some dents. <laughs> Do you? Didn't lose the windshield, yeah, though, I hope. No, that was one good thing. I was afraid I was going to, but... Uh, I didn't. All right. Kelly Williamson, thank you so much for joining us once again in the western part of Iowa. We're still continuing to monitor those storms that are out there as well. We do appreciate your time with us this evening. And, of course, we're going to stay with you throughout the night tonight and on weather.com as well as the threat does continue across the plains and then moving toward the east as we go into the day tomorrow. And we're talking about some big cities involved in that severe weather threat. Nashville, Storm Memphis just arrived on the scene here in Lake City, Iowa, where we had a tornado touchdown early earlier today and he's starting to see some of the damage and you can certainly see the emergency vehicles flashing there in the distance. We understand power is out to a lot of this area obviously with all the trees down the power lines have come down as well and some damage to some not only houses but a school. We hope to get more information. Stay right there. We are live from Lake City, Iowa when we come back. Welcome back, everyone. We've got breaking news. A tornado touched down earlier this evening in Iowa. We understand quite a bit of damage done to the city of Lake City in Iowa. This is in the western part of the state. The tornado touching down at around 7.30 central time this evening. One of our storm chasers, Kelly Williamson, just arrived on the scene moments ago. We're seeing some of his online pictures right here. Uh, Kelly, I know you just got there, but what have you seen so far? So far, this is about all I've seen. This is as far into the town as I've got. What we've got right here, this is the school, and this is that is a roof off of the school. Uh, I don't know; it's so dark right now. I don't know if you can really see. We can we can definitely oh, see damage there. It's hard to make out what that is, though. That's the roof of a of a high school. Yeah, you think? It, that's the that's the school of uh, this town. I, I, that's what they told me it was anyway. Was the the roof, and they said that as of now, they hadn't heard of any injuries. Well, that's very good news, Kelly. Thank God for that. Um, and I know you just got into town, and you're saying how dark it is, and that's because of all the power outages. Are you seeing a lot of trees and power lines that have that have come down on the roads out there as you were traveling in? Uh, no, I didn't see anything down. Okay, well, that's uh, good news there, but uh, but again, they're hopefully going to be able to get out there and restore that power, but uh, we've also got the radar uh, showing what that storm looked like as it moved through the area. I know you weren't actually chasing the storm at the time. You were actually working your way up from the from the south, uh, but again, as you were making your way there, what, what were you able to uh, to kind of see on the way? Well, there was a, it looked like it had been a lot of wind. It blowed, the rocks were blowed over into the, uh, on the pavement. It made the, the pavement look a lot just like a dirt road from the rocks being pushed over on it. I see a lot of folks out and about just kind of staring at, at that debris on the ground right there and, and certainly a lot of emergency vehicles on the scene as well. Uh, what else are you kind of gathering just from looking at the people who are milling out and about? I haven't got to talk but uh, one police officer and uh, I asked him if uh, he knew of any and they're doing some search and rescue now. And uh, he said they should know something a little bit sooner. I just now noticing they've got some lights on a house that's a little bit farther down. I don't can't really see any damage on it, but they've got 
light shining there, and I've seen people going in and out. I haven't got to even get out yet, so. All right, Kelly, I know you just got there. Uh, we hope to get more information on some of the damage, and hopefully nobody was injured in this tornado that touched down in Lake City. But, again, we hope to get more information uh, as it becomes available from the National Weather Service and, obviously, from the authorities there in western Iowa. Again, this is breaking news. This is happening right now in the western part of the state. So we hope to bring you more information as it becomes available. In the meantime, we've got another storm bridge here on the Weather Channel. I'm meteorologist Kelly Cass. We're going to have much more on a tornado touchdown that took place in western Iowa near Lake City. Our storm chaser just got on the scene where a tornado has done some damage to a high school and several other buildings. We'll hear more from storm chaser Kelly Williamson coming up in just a moment. But first, we've got active tornado warnings going Iowa. right now. Yeah. Hard earlier this afternoon and evening by a tornado in Lake City. We want to bring in Storm Chaser Kelly Williamson, who just arrived hey, on the scene go. not too long ago. And Kelly, what we're seeing now from your picture, we see some wires, uh, looks like some debris on the ground. Kind of explain and describe what you're seeing out there. Kelly, can you hear us? All right, we seem to have lost uh, Kelly on the phone just now, but we still have his live picture. You can definitely see what's going on here in Lake City. You can see some flashes of lights in the background. A lot of emergency vehicles are out and about. We understand a lot of trees and power lines have come down as a result of this tornado touchdown. This is in the western part of Iowa, well to the west of Des Moines. And again, this happened at about 7.30 this evening, central time. Uh, trees down, wires down, and even reports of a roof ripped off the high school out there. There's a look at some of the storm reports we have for you and the map that kind of shows you where it happened. Uh, we're in western Iowa. There's Lake City right there and you can see uh, the storm report with the trees down, the power lines down, the roof damage. Not just the high school sustaining damage, but we understand some homes as well. And when we last talked to Kelly Williamson, he was telling us that he saw some emergency folks shining a light on a house. He hadn't heard of any injuries up to this point. We hope that there aren't any, but they were definitely in the in the midst of doing a search and rescue when we last spoke to Kelly uh, just a short time ago. But we're actually panning the camera now. You can actually see uh, what Kelly's seeing there on the scene. And we're going to zoom out and show you what looks to be quite a lot of debris. Uh, we think that that's part of the actual roof that came off the high school. Uh, so a, a pretty serious situation, but thankfully we haven't heard of any reports of injuries uh, as of right now. So it's pretty dark out there. It's going to be difficult to, uh, to kind of ascertain the damage as of this point, but of course the National Weather Service, they will likely send out a team eventually to determine exactly what took place here. There's a look at the high school, by the way. Uh, we're kind of zooming in on it for you right now. You can see some of the windows. Uh, looks like we're blown out. Uh, we were just looking at what, what was the roof of that building to the left of it. So uh, we're kind of zooming in a little bit closer to show you the actual school building uh, and, and show you, you know, basically what took place here with the tornado that touched down at 7.30 this evening. Uh, not sure what the kids are going to do tomorrow. We still have to talk to some officials about what they're going to do as far as that goes, and certainly with a lot of power uh, being out in the city, that, that's a huge concern as well. Uh, we do have some pictures uh, from earlier, uh, you know, worst. just kind of showing what was this that touched down just based on looking at the damage. But now we're back live for you. Uh, we're not able to talk to Kelly on the phone, but this is his picture, a storm chaser who just got there on the scene within the last half hour. Hopefully he's had a chance to maybe talk to some of the folks that are out there on the street. We hope to uh, get you more information about what took place here in Lake City, Iowa. A lot of damage caused by a tornado touchdown earlier this evening. Stay right there. We've got much more on the aftermath, but also ongoing storms. Our severe threat is not over yet. To Western Iowa. We want to talk to a witness uh, who actually witnessed this tornado in Lake City, Iowa. We're also looking at some of the damage uh, right now. This is live. This is as it's happening right now. Austin is joining us on the phone. Austin, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so what exactly did you see? I know this tornado touched down at about 7.30 this evening. Correct. Well, Kelly, we were headed uh, just to the southwest, uh, southeast, sorry, of uh, town, and actually we were trying to stay east of it, of course, because track in northeast. And as we were heading east, we kind of just saw the bunch of vortices kind of coming up and down out of the, the wall cloud and all the funnels and everything, snaking around. And we actually saw one of the, roof, one of the roofs out of one of the schools, uh, just the southwest corner of town. It completely tore off, and as we came back into town after we got done chasing, 
it appears that it's uh, pretty serious based off what we can see here. Yeah, we're looking right now at a lot of debris out there on the roads. So we understand a high school lost its roof or maybe part of the roof? That's correct. It looks like it might be part of the gym. If, I'm not from the town, I actually I'm from Omaha, but yeah, I just was chasing through here and it looks like it might be part of the gym. Well, I don't have any confirmation on that. We understand that, by the way, that there were about 100 people inside at the time, but uh, fortunately no injuries have been reported as of yet. Uh, Austin, are you, are you surprised given the kind of damage that you're seeing around town? So far we haven't heard of anybody getting hurt by this. Yeah, I'm actually very surprised that, you know, that nobody's been hurt by this because uh, by the looks of it, it's, it's very serious uh, what went through here. We started just northeast of Carroll, Iowa, uh, Carroll, Iowa actually chasing this. And that's when it very first touched down, and we followed it all the way up through here. And it just kept dissipating and coming back down. So it's very surprising that it hit this town and did as much damage as it did. Well, I'm thankful that a lot of folks must have been seeking shelter at the time. And, and Austin, as we kind of pan around and look at some of the damage there in Lake City, Iowa, is it difficult getting around? And, and you know, I understand there's a lot of power that's been knocked down in that area as well. It's going to be tough getting back to work and school tomorrow, I would think. Oh, yeah, definitely, especially eight miles even northeast of here. There's a town without power just from uh, all the destruction. It's called what was the town? Rockwell. Rockwell City, Kelly, mm -hmm. and they're without power. And even after the initial tornado came through, they got golf ball, the quarter size hail in the area. Wow, that's that's some pretty big hail as well. And, uh, you know, what can you tell us about just the streets and trying to maneuver your way through the town? It's very difficult to get in and out right now due to all the police presence and firefighters directing traffic around town. But as far as the streets look, there's a lot of insulation, tree limbs, power lines down. There's even right out front of the Stormview Live truck here, there's the uh, roof of the school blocking the street. So it's wow. pretty serious. Have you ever seen anything like this, Austin? You know, the last time I saw something as bad as this was last year in Tilger, Nebraska, where I'm from, mm -hmm. or around that area. So, I mean, this is definitely the worst I've seen so far this year up north, definitely. All right. Well, we're glad that you're safe. We're glad that the folks there are safe as well. And we're just kind of looking at the damage. Kind of hard to see, you know, because it's nighttime. But uh, but certainly what we are seeing, a lot of insulation strewn about on the yards out there, a lot of wires as well. Um, I'm sure the officials are telling people to just kind of stay away because there's still a lot of debris and dangers that, that can certainly uh, you can come across in a situation like this. Uh, but the National Weather Service, they'll go out there and survey some of the damage as well. Uh, we're not sure about what's going to happen with school for the kids kids tomorrow. Uh, you know, obviously with the school sustaining some pretty major damage, there may be some issues as far as that goes and people just trying to get back to work and back to a normal life here uh, after a tornado has come through uh, Lake City, Iowa. Uh, so Austin, thank you so much for joining us. We've got our storm chaser Kelly Williamson out there as well. He's on the scene showing us these live pictures for us right here on the Weather Channel. We're kind of zoomed in on uh, looks like a front porch of a home right there. You can see so a lot of debris out in the yard, certainly a lot of clean up having to take place and we've got more scattered showers and thunderstorms in the forecast for this area over the next couple of days stay right there we'll be right back Welcome back, everyone. We are following breaking news out of western Iowa, where a tornado has touched down and caused quite a bit of damage here. You can see all that debris strewn about on the roads. This is a live picture provided to you by one of our storm chasers, Kelly Williamson, who is on the scene. He got there, oh, about an hour ago, and Kelly joins us now on the phone to talk more about the situation and what you've been seeing out there, Kelly, as you've just been kind of uh, talking to folks and looking at all that debris. What are you finding out? Well, I found out that this is their high school, and uh, this is probably the most damaged building in town. The rest of the houses, they say it had some big trees down on them, and that was the majority of the, the damage. Uh, one good thing is uh, nobody was reported injured so far. Oh, that is the best of news, especially on Mother's Day, Kelly. We're, we're very thankful to hear that. Now, earlier I was talking to you, and it looked like they were shining a light on a house, and you said that there might have been some search and rescue going on. Do you know if everybody's been accounted for? Have you been able to talk to the fire officials there? Yes, I've talked to some of the firemen, and uh, so far they have not found any injuries. Okay, certainly some good news there. And you said a lot of damage to the high school. Of course, uh, we're, we're waiting word on um, what's going to happen as far as, you know, being a school day tomorrow, if they're even going to have school because of the damage. Uh, but from what you're seeing, uh, you know, with all the power outages and the trees and the wires down, it, it's going to be a tough go for, for folks trying to get back to work or school tomorrow, wouldn't you say? Yep. 
their roofs in the tree right there. So, uh, but one thing that was good, I talked to them and they said they had 10 minutes notice that the uh, the fire alarms went off mm -hmm. and uh, everything worked like it should. Good, good. So everybody was seeking shelter as the tornado was approaching. If you could, while we've got you there, can you kind of move your camera around so we can kind of get a good uh, feel and a, and a good look at what's what happened there? In, in uh, Again, this is in western Iowa. This is in Lake City where a tornado touched down at about 7.30, a little after 7.30 this evening, central time. Um, Kelly, right now what, where your camera is pointed, is that the roof you were talking about that came off the high school? Yeah, that's the high school roof right there. It's... Uh... That's part of it there. The firefighters said when they first got here that uh, it was up in the trees and over the power lines there that you're seeing. But this is a uh, big cedar tree right here that we're looking at right now. Uh -huh. And that's the roof, roof laying on top of the... Uh, the cedar tree. Wow, just incredible, you know, what tornadoes can do, that is for sure. And and we understand, by the way, that there were about maybe 100 people in, in the building when, when this tornado hit. And uh, as you mentioned, no injuries reported. Now we're looking at the building. Is that the high school itself, Kelly? Yes, that's the high school. What do you see as far as the windows? Were the, were the windows blown out? Is there a lot of glass everywhere? I haven't walked over there, but just from looking from here, it looks like you can see the blinds mm -hmm. uh, look like they're torn back, and uh, I don't think there's a window left in it. All right, can you zoom in on the high school a little bit more? I know it's kind of hard. It's, it's very dark out there, but you're actually giving us a very good picture of, of all the damage, that's for sure. Well, the windows may be a little in intact. It's kind of hard to tell from here. Yeah. Uh, that may be a that may be some windows out right there, but uh, it's really kind of yeah. I can okay. see the you can see the glass there. It looks like the windows are gone. Wow. All right. A lot of cleanup for the folks there. But the important thing, Kelly, as you mentioned, nobody was injured or killed. Uh, that That is certainly some good news. Kelly, thank you so much for being there for us, our eyes and ears out there in the field where this tornado took place in western Iowa. By the way, Stewart Memorial Hospital has been open tonight as an emergency shelter provided by the Red Cross. So if, if your home was badly damaged, there there's a place you can go, Stewart Memorial Hospital. Again, we will continue our live coverage of severe storms. It's not over yet, folks. Stay right there with the flooding and, of course, the tornadoes that have touched down already this afternoon and evening. We're going to talk more with our storm chaser who got on the scene now in uh, western Iowa where a tornado touched down here. Take a look at what we're seeing through his camera, some of the debris out there. We've got the workers on the scene trying to clear that debris. Uh, from what we understand, though, thankfully nobody hurt here in Lake City, Iowa, as that tornado touched down at about 7.30 this evening, ripping at least part of a roof off of a high school. So, again, Kelly Williamson is on the phone with me now and, and thank you so much for showing us these pictures Kelly first of all I know you just got on the scene uh, just earlier this evening uh, what else have you learned about what happened here and what kinds of damage we're seeing well I learned that uh, the high school that you're looking at there that they was having a uh, high school awards program tonight and there was over a hundred people in the school when it hit it and and nobody was hurt right nobody was hurt Thank goodness. That, that is amazing. And I know you talked earlier about the lead time, the warning that was issued, uh, that those sirens were going off, and that those folks did have some time to seek shelter as that tornado was coming through. Yes, they said they had 10-minute lead time on the uh, sirens and that, so everybody had plenty of time to take shelter. That is excellent news, and that's why we're hearing of no injuries, thank goodness, Kelly, on this Mother's Day. Uh, but as we're zoomed in now on some of the debris, some of the damage that you're looking at, is that the high school that we're seeing right there in the right side of your shot? Yeah, that's the high school right there. And it uh, looked like a lot of the windows are gone out of it, and uh, right now they're trying to get the streets cleared, and so they can get their power back on. The whole city's out of out of power. The whole city is out of power. Wow. And and what we're looking at as far as the roof, uh, did is the whole roof off the building or just part of it? What would you say? Well, I imagine it's the whole roof because what you're seeing in my stream is uh, they said wasn't all of it that on the other side of the school there's more roof over there. So it was kind of swirling around. And uh, this didn't, it didn't all just come in this direction. It's in houses, and that's the other side of the school, too. 
Wow, that had to be so frightening for the kids there at an awards ceremony to uh, have to seek shelter as a tornado is coming through. Now we're looking at some other debris on the roads out there, some uh, insulation that's been thrown around. Uh, looks like the officials, uh, the firemen are out there trying to clear that debris. Is that the main thing that they're working on right now? No search and rescue, right? No, I think the search and rescue is over with. Uh, I think everybody was accounted for, and uh, they're just trying to get the get everything out where they can get the service trucks in here to get the power in that restored. Yeah, because was it hard for you to come in? I know you came in on the scene uh, after the tornado had struck. You came in from, I believe, the south side of town. How hard was it for you to get in there? It, w it wasn't hard to get in here. Uh, when you get to the, got to the debris path, there was no doubt. Uh, you can go uh, 50 yards to the east or west, and there's no, no damage. Okay, well, thank you so much, Kelly. I'm glad you got there safely and you were able to uh, kind of share the story about what took place here in Lake City, Iowa. Uh, we thank you for your time and for your live stream right there. Obviously, the National Weather Service will head out there and survey the damage to determine exactly what type of tornado it was and how long it was on the ground. Uh, by the way, the uh, Red Cross has set up an emergency shelter at Stewart Memorial Hospital uh, for anybody whose home was heavily damaged and they need to seek shelter. Again, that's Stewart Memorial Hospital. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We are still tracking more severe weather at this hour as well. We're back from the lab when we come back. Tornado touchdown earlier this evening at about 7.30 Central Time. We've got a storm chaser on the ground out there. He's been providing this live stream for us to show us all the damage that happened there, including a roof uh, part off of a high school there. Uh, so, again, talk about a, a disruption to life here in Lake City, Iowa. This is in the western part of the state. Uh, lots of damage out there, lots of power outages as well. Uh, really tough getting around with all that debris on the roads, but the uh, fire officials are out there trying to clear that debris away, and they have opened up a shelter, by the way, too, at Stewart Memorial Hospital. Well, thank you so much for watching our special extended coverage of this weekend's Triple Threat. That's it for us tonight, but we will be back tomorrow morning. Wake up with Al starting at 5 a.m. Eastern. We've got another radar hit for you coming up in just a moment.